Have you ever done a project to where you have to kill the power and sometimes when you got to kill the power, you can't shut all the breakers off. You can't shut the main off because there's other people in the building. The panel's not labeled right. You don't, you're afraid that you just don't want to flip the wrong breaker off and upset someone that you know needs the power. Klein has a solution for you. This is Klein's new digital circuit finder. Digital circuit finders have been out for years, but Klein has made theirs, they've improved theirs to where I absolutely love it because this is not a sponsored ad by no means. I did buy this myself. Uh, I bought this a couple weeks ago. It was about $40. I used it probably about eight times so far and I absolutely love it because it's so accurate and so easy to use compared to the older circuit finders that it's just like, I don't even want to deal with the other ones anymore. This is, this is my go-to whenever I have to find a circuit now. This comes with the... Uh, digital transmitter, or not a digital transmitter, but it comes with the transmitter. And now what's really cool about this transmitter is that it can also be used as a regular outlet tester for uh, a GFCI circuit. It'll test GFCIs. It'll test uh, the outlets, let you know if it has open ground or a uh, open neutral. Uh, and it, the list goes on. The, there's a little... Uh, diagram on here it tells you exactly what it does it pretty much does the same thing as a regular outlet tester i'll put a link up there and i'll or a little tag up there and you can see what the other uh client testers have for the outlets and stuff now one thing that you can't do is this is only for this is this has a built-in transmitter so you can't use cl other client plug-in testers for this unit because you have to have that built-in transmitter now this built-in, this this is its own power source. So when you plug it into an outlet, it'll get power from the outlet and it'll power this. Now with the uh, receiver end, it will have a nine volt battery that come, uh, Klein generously gives you a nine volt battery. You know, they don't have to because some, some companies don't even give you batteries with their stuff. Klein always seems to give you batteries. Uh, it has, a Phillips head screw in the handle, just unloosen that and this black part of the handle will come off. It'll pull off and uh, it actually not pull off, it'll hinge up and you can just put that nine volt battery in there, close it, and it'll be good for a while. You, you, you know, it'll be good for, I'm not gonna say how long it'll be because I don't, you know, you never know how many people use this all the time, but battery will be good. So how do we use this and why is it better? I have an outlet that it's right next to the panel. We'll make it simple, but sometimes it will not be as simple as this, trust me. But for demonstration's sake, plug it in. Okay, so there is a button on this transmitter or receiver. And turn it on, hit the button, turn it on. It'll start beeping and showing green. So start at the top of your breakers and just slowly go down. And you don't even really have to go that slow. And it'll kind of, as you're getting to it, this is the one thing I really like, is when you're getting to that breaker, it, the beeping increases and it start, the green starts flashing. You notice the green starts flashing? It's getting excited. So when you get to the breaker, it stops green and it starts flashing red. So we know that that's the breaker. It shut off and then it goes back to normal. Now, if we have to find another breaker, we have to shut this off. We, we have to reset it because every time you do a circuit, you should always reset it. Klein tells you to reset it. All you do is turn it off, turn it back on, it'll clear it, and then you can go and find your other breaker that you need to do. Like I said before, that is awesome. It's so quick, and I'm gonna show you how much, how other uh, circuit finders are just a pain in the butt. So there's a couple other things that come with, uh, that 
uh, or options that can come with this. You can get a socket with a, this is, has a two prong. This is from one of my older uh, tester digital finders. Uh, Klein has one that has a socket with a three prong because Klein's transmitter has a three prong because they are, you are able to use it as a regular tester like I explained before. So they have that ground in the socket with it. It's basically the ground doesn't do anything, but it just let, lets you use power neutral uh, to plug into there. So you can test, put this in a light and you can find the circuit from a light if you if that circuit doesn't have any outlets or anything on it. So they also will have an optional uh, clips too that have a, their, their little clips that have a three prong on this too. This one's a two prong, like I said before, it's from another transmitter, but Klein has that. Big thing is that one of my main disappointments is with this thing is that they don't give it to you as a package. All that stuff, I, that those two things that I just showed you, those are optional. You can buy them or you don't have to buy them. But what I really would have wanted is that Klein put this in as a package deal with those because those don't ver cost very much more and give you like a little uh, case like they do with your multi-testers and everything like that, just so you can keep everything in there and you can, I, I can put it in my like little tote bag and then I could just grab it when I need to have it. And I know that everything is in there, the socket adapters in there and the clips are in there for if I have to hook up any wires. Now this does only do one, a 110, 120 circuit. It does not do 220. So just so you know that this is impact resistant up to about two meters. So you can drop it, if it falls down. It's not gonna, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna take a beating and kind of actually no it didn't get a scratch on it it's pretty good okay so i'm going to show you that other tester what i used to been dealing with this is called an amp pro it's from the company amp probe uh and i've had this tester for oh gosh probably about a good 10 years it looks new because i don't like to use it because it is so fidgety so i've used this I've used it quite a bit, but like I don't use it as much as I should because first of all, the auto shutoff on it is horrible because it always seems to turn on even though you're not touching it. So I, every time I go to grab it, the battery is always dead. Unlike the Klein that has the auto shutoff and you actually have to hold the button down for a couple seconds and then turn it on. But this thing, it's the, if, if I drop this right now, I feel like I would break it because the plastic is so kind of like brittle. And the plug-in tester, plug-in that they give you, it's a two-prong. It only does the circuit binding. It just has a little tiny red light on it that when you plug it in, it'll tell you, it'll say that the breaker is on and that's it. That's already a flaw for me because I kind of like that other one because you have the outlet tester in it and it's, you know, just another feature. I like the little, the little features. It's just, they, they give a, they give, they give a crap. That's what I'm saying. Klein gives a crap. So, but, so with this one, you just, you, you press, you turn it on, you hit the button, it does a weird noise and it's supposed to write up, uh, the green light is supposed to light up when you get to the circuit. And so, see, like I just touched this top breaker and it's already fidgety. Like I'm touching the top breaker and it say, was saying that that was it. Now I'm touching like the fifth breaker down, the sixth breaker down, it's saying that's it. Now it always seems like with this one, I would always have to hit the reset button again. And I would kind of have to narrow it down. It's like, okay, so it, it feels like it's in between these three. It's in between these three. So that I'd have to reset it. And then you go back and forth. You go back and forth. Okay. You go back and forth. Okay. It could be, it could be these two. <laughs> and then it's, see, I, I'm on the breaker that it's supposed to be, and it's not registering it. There we go. Now, if I turn it a certain way, it registers it, <laughs> which I think I was supposed to have it going sideways, but so let's try that again. 
Let's go down. No, nope, but still, it's still, let's see. Now it's saying that it's this one, this third one from the top. Okay, it's saying that it, it is the right one, but, but that's what I'm saying is, would you trust this thing? Hell no. Not if I have to use, not if, not if I'm working by myself and I have to go to the opposite end of the house or even to your house to test that, to test that outlet and then come to find out that, hey, it gave me a false reading. That's not that breaker. Then you have to walk all the way back to the panel, go down to the basement, wherever it's at, and try to find it again. With this, you turn it on, you plug it in, hit the button, turn it on, go down, boom. It shuts off. You feel confident. I feel confident that that is it. This thing has not failed me yet. And I hope it doesn't, but so far it's been a gem and I love it. So, you know, these are my thoughts. These are, you know, what I do with it. Let me know down in the comments if this brought any value to you. If, you know, this is a upgrade to your circuit finder or not. Uh, you know, like the video, like I said before, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and do so already. I'm Philip Bridges and I will see you on the next one.